In this video, we'll be talking about a few chart analyses to help you get prepared for the week ahead. If you love the content, please like, subscribe, and leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you're interested in learning trade forex like a professional, check out our forex trading course on Udemy. I have the link attached in the description below. Without further ado, let's get started. So this is a good chart on a four hours time frame, and we are going to try as much as possible to support our good trade opportunities for next week. While we try to look for trade opportunities for next week, I just want to let you know this is kind of like a complicated chart. The reason is because we are currently in a bullish trend on a higher time frame or when you zoom out and we are also in a bearish trend on a lower time frame. So if you focus on this price level over here on the one hour time frame or the two hour time frame, you will notice this is clearly a bearish trend because we have lower highs and lower lows, right? But this may just be a simple reversal in continuation of uh you know this uh bullish uh bullish trend right so just like what we had here so even when we had a bullish run all the way from these lows this triple bottom to these highs here we had a slow grind to the downside side right so this was our bearish trend within the overall bullish trend so we may be seeing something similar over here this is the reason why i say it's a complicated chart but we're just going to follow the price, price action wherever it leads so going on to the lower time frame so right now we're going to focus on what we have over here because this is where we have our business okay so on a lower time frame like the one hour time frame for example if you go over to the one hour time frame you would notice we just took out a very significant um, resistance level or a very good area of value which also broke out from this channel right so we have this channel so this is the resistance level of the channel the support level of the channel and we broke out on uh, Friday or Thursday I think so we broke out last week so right now the next possible target if we're going to go long would be around this resistance level over here right so i'm going to show you my two case scenario to go long so the first case scenario will be waiting for the completion of this consolidation and then a bullish breakout to go long so our entry is going to be at the break of this resistance level stop loss is going to be below the consolidation and take profit is going to be at the resistance level right so another scenario to also go um long would be waiting for price to get into this level just give me a minute waiting for price to slowly get into this level area of value get some sort of a bullish reversal candle like a bullish and golfing candle where we are going to go long aiming for this resistance level so we are either going to go long when after the completion of this consolidation with a bullish breakout or we are going to go long if we get a reversal confirmation at these price levels so this is two scenarios in which i'm going to go long on gold so as for going short, this is what I'm going to watch out for. So I'm either going to wait for price to come into this resistance level, give us some sort of a bearish continuation pattern or a bearish reversal candlestick, like a bearish and gothic candle, a doji, a spine top as the case may be. Then I'm going to go short aiming for this price, uh, price level over here. So this is the first case scenario in which I'm going to go short, right? And the second case scenario will be waiting for price to come here, consolidate around this area of value and then give us a bearish breakout taking out this you know um area of value where we trade below these uh, price levels right so our uh, entry is going to be at the break of the breakout stop is going to be above the consolidation at least for the breakout and take profits first two prop, uh, profit targets going to be around these price levels while we trade the rest of our positions so this my explicit review on gold right now so when we take out this resistance level then that's going to be another analysis for another day maybe next week but right now i'm going to watch to see what price does when we uh, come into this area of value or when we come into this area of value we are going to look for suitable opportunities to either go long or go short moving on we're going to talk about aud usd so this is a daily time frame on aud usd as you can see we had um 3d price rejection off of this resistance level so one two and three which happened on friday right and we had the uh, we have the lows so one two on the lows so we are currently trading in between this symmetrical triangle and i'm going to show you what i'm watching out for to go um long or short in this type of price action okay so i know there are a bunch of lines here so we're going to go down to a lower time frame to see what we have down there to spot out good trade opportunities for the week ahead so this is a two hours time frame on aud usd you can see after being rejected by this trend line on the daily time frame we also got rejected by this resistance level right so this is the immediate highs before we had this dump and we just ran into this high again where we had a rejection so i got in on the trade around this price level and my stop loss around this area of value here so i'm aiming for this 
uh you know um support level over here for me to take profit while i wait for you know another trade opportunity so if you're not in yet on AUD USD, this is what i suggest okay so if you're going to go short i would wait for a consolidation like this like a bearish continuation pattern and a bearish breakout to go short so this is the only scenario i would go short from this current price action or the current price levels so i won't just jump into a short position here because there's a good chance we reverse back to this resistance level consolidate here and get a bullish breakout then we're going to look for opportunities to go long right so this is the reason why at the current price level i'm going to wait for a bearish continuation pattern like this and a bearish breakout to go short that will make us have a very good risk to reward ratio because stop loss is going to be above the consolidation that leads to the breakout first target is going to be probably around these price levels and the second target is going to be around these lows right so this i'm going to go short on AUD USD at the current price level alternatively i am going to wait for price to come into this area of value consolidate over these levels and give us that bearish breakout right just like we had over here you can see what we had here so we had a rejection dump down consolidate at the area of value bearish continuation so we could have something similar on this price level to go short so this will require a lot of patience in order for us to take advantage of this price action so these are the two scenarios in which i'm going to go short on AUD USD. as for going long i'm either going to wait for price to come back into this resistance level consolidate at the resistance level and give us a bullish breakout so entry is going to be around this price level and stop loss is going to be below the consolidation that leads to the breakout and my position is going to be trailed as we move higher so there's no fist take profit target for AUD USD when we take out this resistance level because we would also be taking out this trend line on the daily time frame okay so that will be a potential strong move so right now I'm just going to wait to see uh, another scenario in which I'm going to go long probably would be waiting to see how price reacts within this area of value so if we get a consolidation a bullish bounce a bullish breakout then that would be another signal to go long but this would be a more risky opportunity to go long compared to trading above this area of resistance all right so i believe you, know, you get the point i would love to see or uh, hear from you okay see your own chart um learn your own opinion on markets for next week so if you have those charts drop them in our free discord community I have the link attached in the description below. And if you're interested in learning to see the market the way I do, check out our course on Udemy. I'm going to teach you everything about Forex trading to becoming a price action trader. Okay, I have the link attached in the description below. Moving on, we're going to talk about US 30. So US 30 currently trading within this ascending triangle and we are currently around this resistance level. So two things could happen. We could either break above the resistance level or we could get rejected coming back to these lows where we potentially see maybe a bounce or a breakout so we're going to go down to the lower time frame to see what's happening down here to spot our good trade opportunities for next week so right now we would be focusing on the price action we have around these price levels right because these ones are over already so we're going to see what's happening down here right so going down to the lower time frame i'm going to go down to the two hours time frame and we're going to zoom in on these price levels right so zooming in, oh, excuse me, I'm going to get a risk line. So zooming in, we are going to see what's going on down here. As you can see, price is currently oscillating within this range. So we have a clear support level and we have a clear resistance level. So you can see the um, pattern up, down, up, down, up. There's a good chance we go down or there's a good chance we consolidate within this level and then go up right so we're going to see how we can take advantage of this price action on this time frame so zooming in more or let me go down to the one hour time frame okay so it's clearly visible what i'm talking about so zooming in on the one hour time frame you can see we clearly got rejected at the resistance level right so there's a good chance we come all the way down to this area of value go up come down and then finally get a bullish breakout or get a bearish breakout so this is what i'm watching out for for us 30. so my first scenario to go long would be this excuse me so my first scenario to go long would be waiting for a consolidation around these price levels or around these price levels and a bullish breakout from this resistance level 
for me to go long this will be my first case scenario to go long on us 30 right so we may not even come all the way to the support level we may consolidate we may keep keep consolidating around these levels and then we get a bullish breakout but the moment we get our bullish breakout would be my signal to go long and depending on the bullish breakout i might either go aggressive or i might wait for a retest as a confirmation before i go long right so but when the time comes i think i'm going to share my thoughts in our discord community so try as much as possible to use the link in the description below to join our community but as for a short position i'm going to wait for price to slowly come into this area of value consolidate a little and then give us that bearish breakout to go short right i know most people would wouldn't be patient enough to wait for price to get into this level and then give us that bearish breakout why because if you measure the price distance from this current price levels to these lows that's approximately 170 pips i know okay it's enticing but there's a good chance if you jump into a trade here you might just get stuck because that will be closer to the middle of this range right where we might you know get some indecision before we finally get a breakout which you actually don't know the direction of the market yet so that's why it's best to wait for either a break a uh, breakout from this resistance level to go long or a breakout from this support level to go short so this is how i'm going to trade us 30 and i'm going to share my trade ideas and my thoughts as the trade develops in our discord community moving on we're going to check out um crude oil right so crude oil real quick if you go to the higher time frame so let's check the daily time frame real quick i talked about this in our previous analysis you can see we are clearly in a bearish trend why because price is creating series of lower highs and lower lows so these breakouts we had on uh thursday or yeah last week i guess doesn't mean there's going to be a change in trend yet so i will be watching out for a change in trend when we take out these levels okay this way i'll be watching out for a change in trend so right now with this current price action we are still within the confines of a bearish market structure and I'm going to show you how I'm going to take advantage of this price action as we move down to the lower time frame. So this is two hours time frame on crude oil. I'm going to zoom. Excuse me. I'm going to zoom out a little. So let's see what we have down here. So zooming out, you can see we are currently trading above this resistance level. If you pick up the five two from taking these highs to the support level, because this is just a week and we can you know neglect this price action here. So if you take a look at these price levels over here, you would notice that we got rejected at the 61.8% FIB level. Now, this may hold no significance yet until we see the further development in the price action on crude oil, right? So this I'm going to trade this um, um, asset or this commodity as you will. So first of all, to go short, I'm going to wait for price to come into this area of value, react with it, give us a consolidation and then a bearish breakout as a continuation of the overall bearish trend on the daily time frame right my you know um entry to go short will be at the break of this consolidation my stop loss would be above the consolidation that leads to the breakout and my first take profit target will be around these lows right so this is exactly how i'm going to trade crude oil if this happens as i expect this may be the only trade i take this week because if you measure the price movement from these price levels all the way down to this you know um support level that will be around 700 pips which is good enough for a week's worth of you know trade profit right so it would also be best if this consolidation leads to a price decline below the area of value let's say for example we get the consolidation at this area of value then the breakout happens underneath this, uh, you know, uh, resistance uh, support level. Then this is going to be the best trade position to open your trade because we would already be trading below this area of value, right? So this will be my scenario to go short on crude oil. I know in a bearish trend for those who would like to go long. So this would be the best case scenario to go long is what I'm going to be explaining right now. So I'm going to wait for price to come into this area of value, react with it. Give us a good reversal, consolidate a little as a bullish, uh, giving us a bullish continuation pattern and a bullish breakout. So this will be the scenario in which I go long on crude oil because this will give us the 
better risk to reward ratio right instead of just jumping into a bad position when we tap into this price level since this is still a bearish trend right so this would give us a better confirmation as a continuation of this massive bullish move we saw all the way at this price level so massive bullish move good consolidation a good breakout then we'll go long here right so this will be my scenario to go long on uh crude oil here well for a short position i'm going to wait for price to come into this area value consolidate a little and give us a bearish breakout sending price all the way below this area value which you know this support level will be our trade target and the stop loss is going to be above the consolidation that leads to the breakout so lastly we're going to talk about usd jpy on the four hours time frame zooming out like this we are currently in a bullish trend higher highs higher lows we had a pullback excuse me so we had a pullback over here consolidation higher lows higher highs massive move to the upside but right now we seem to be trading or we seem to have bounced off this area of value so i'm going to go down to the lower time frame to show you what i'm talking about so two hours time frame real quick take a look we bounce or let, let's start from the four hours time frame so i'm just going to zoom out so four hours time frame there's something i want to show you real quick so four hours time frame on usd jpy right so give me a minute you can see we have a clear resistance level turned into a support level now right so if you take a closer look you can see that we have a doji right we have a doji or a spiny top okay well i'm gonna call this a doji so a doji at the support level at the area of value where we had our bounce for usd jpy that's after we had an extensive price you know appreciation over here and then a reversal to the downside so this may simply be a continuation excuse me i'm gonna get rid of this so this may be a continuation of the bullish trend we we have on the higher time frame or when we zoomed out right so this may be a reversal from these lows as a continuation to the upside so this is what i'll be watching out for to go long if you are not in on a long position over here already i'm going to wait for a consolidation around these price levels followed by a bullish breakout the reason is because we are also currently around another area of value right which is this price level here where we had uh this is kind of like a flip zone now because this acted as a support as a resistance level here now acting as a support level and now back as a resistance level okay so this is currently known as a flip zone so by the time we get a consolidation around this price level like this so i'm going to get rid of this give me a minute so if we get a consolidation around this price level like this followed by a bullish breakout then this will be a confirmation to go long in line with this immediate bullish trend right so we have a bullish trend over here and the bullish trend we have on the four hours time frame when we zoomed out on the higher time frame as the case may be so this will be my scenario to go long for usd jpy as for a short position i'm going to wait for a consolidation and a bearish breakout okay as a continuation pattern so the continuation is going to be in line with this first bearish trend so a bearish trend a consolidation as a continuation pattern and a bearish breakout so this will be my scenario to go short for usd jpy so i believe you understand what i'm talking about when you know uh we see price actions like this my scenarios to go long and my scenarios to go short remember trading is all about probabilities so the direction that has the highest probability of becoming a success is where you want to you know, open your positions right so if you're interested in learning to trade forex like a professional like i said earlier check out our course on udemy i have the link attached in the description below if you're not part of our discord community yet it's totally free you get to engage with professional traders or they join our discord community using the link in the description below and you'd notice i didn't talk about gbb usd or aero usd that's because we currently have extended price movement so i don't see any price action that would signal a potential opportunity to go long or short yet so if that changes i'm going to update my view on gbusd area or whatever chat you want me to in our discord that's it for me guys see you next week